Berwick has 16 bridges, and like most of Maine, a few of these bridges are rural, or what the Department of Transportation refers to as minor spans. A minor span is between 10 and 20 feet, and these are considered the town's responsibility. Bridges with more than a 20-foot span, but which average daily traffic of fewer than 100 and or average daily traffic multiplied by detour length of fewer than 200, are really a local issue. They serve only a handful of residences and or are very near to another bridge crossing. The town has full maintenance responsibility, whereas capital responsibility may be shared between the state and the town. The town's cost share is the lesser of 50% or more of the cost, or 1% of the town's valuation, and the state will pick up the remainder. Bridges in Berwick considered minor include Blackberry Hill Road Bridge, built in 1997, Key Bridge, rebuilt in 2004, Lover's Brook Bridge, built in 2000, Roberts Bridge, built in 1940, which is considered to be in serious condition, and Wilson's Bridge, built in 1997. Several of the bridges are owned by the railroads, and these include Clark's Bridge, built in 1980, and Grant's Railroad Overpass Bridge, built in 1920. The remaining bridges are state-owned. These include bridges on townways and state eight highways with a span of more than 20 feet. It excludes low-use redundant bridges. The state has capital and maintenance responsibility for these bridges, relieving towns and counties of local cost sharing. Bridges owned by the state in Berwick include Beaver Dam, built in 1930, Berwick Bridge, built in 2014, Eddy's Bridge, built in 1969, Hubbard Road Bridge, built in 1972, Messenger Bridge, built in 1978, New Dam Bridge, built in 1982, Webster's Bridge, built in 2004, and Worcester Brook Bridge, built in 1937. Recently, Berwick had work done on Praise Bridge out on Diamond Hill Road. Praise Bridge was built in 1985 and is considered a low-use, redundant bridge. It spans 194 feet, had a rating of poor condition on the deck, poor condition on the superstructure, and poor condition on the substructure. The posted limit on this road has been five tons. Hi, this is Terry Wright with Borough Community Media, and I'm here today with Jeremy Libby with Scott Construction, correct? Yes, that is. Okay, and Jeremy has been working on the Diamond Hill Road Bridge, and uh, we're going to ask him a few questions. So, Jeremy, what exactly did you do with the bridge? Um, we started with adding two footings, um, one on each end of the bridge. Uh, from there, we installed two steel posts. Um, and then they have diagonal bracing on those. So we've referred to them as a bent. And then we added two beams running the length of the bridge. Okay. Um, and I did see you had poured some concrete because we noticed a lot of that concrete had come in, come out of the sections of the bridge. That's right. So the, um, the bridge had three precast planks on the, for the structure. Um, the, the, one of the planks started to delaminate and, um, f so from there, the steel to, to get a good con uh, contact, um, we formed up underneath the beams. It's, it's probably hard to tell where you're at, but three concrete precast planks, um, spanned the bridge. And the, the one that we repaired is on, on obviously the far outside and then we placed concrete vertically down and then it was a SCC, a self-consolidating concrete. And that flowed, uh, fill filling any voids between the existing precast and the steel that we added. Okay, and we had a few delays this time around too. Uh, high water, you had to contend with that. What happened um, with that? Yeah, there was a couple days here and there. The, the, the river got very high. Um, we were anticipating or planning on, you know, being able to access um, 
a little bit lower on the river so so when the river came up yeah we had to adjust access and and we and we lost a little bit of time um it, that happens <laughs> Can't control the weather, basically? That's right. That's yeah. right. Um, and I know that you didn't design this. It was an engineer. Can you tell me the uh, firm that actually designed it? Uh, Calderwood Engineering. Calderwood Engineering. Um, and I understand this is a temporary um, fix, so to speak, that eventually we're going to have to do something more permanent. Is that correct? Yeah, um, that, that is the plan. This is, a, this is considered a five-year fix, um, according to the plans and the engineer. Um, and then I think within, within, before that, I believe that the new design for the bridge is out and, um, it's, yeah, so, so two to five years, I think to expect. Yeah. So be prepared drivers that we will probably have to go through this one more time at least. Um, and the other thing I was going to ask you about is what is the uh, new weight limit? So it's been at five tons for quite a while now because of the damage to the bridge. Do you know what the new weight limit is? Um, I believe the engineer, you know, this is probably out of my, out of yep. my realm, but um, Thad Chamberlain, the actual, the engineer for this, um, I think it's going to go from five ton to 10 ton. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate your uh, stepping outside the work uh, area to talk with us, yeah. and um, we appreciate the work that you've done. Well, thank you, Terry, and, and you know, really thanks for the town of Berwick for for keeping patience with us. You know, I know it's it's uh, it can be a nuisance to have your you know your road shut down, and um, but we appreciate appreciate. Yeah, I'm sure you had a few people that weren't happy, but uh, a, a, a couple. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, the people are understanding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're fixing it. They can go over it and feel safe. That's right. When we are we are wrapping up, we're stripping forms now, and uh, and the bridge should be opened very soon. So so with a with a with a higher weight limit. So wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs>